coming out here! Now you got a little taste of what I do. Come on, yeah! You don't even have to be an artist. <laughs> so we're going to take this one step at a time. Now later you can draw a fancy picture, but to understand how the animation part works, we're just going to do a very simple stick figure. It needs to be in a dark color so it's easy to see. Then you're going to come down to the camera. Now you're gonna hold the camera over the QR code on your table, and then it's gonna read it, and it's gonna say, do you wanna go there? And we say, yes, I do. It says, upload a photo, yes, please. And then take photo, yep. Now I'm gonna line this up, and I don't want the table in the picture. I want just the drawing. And you could do it this way too, but because my drawing is tall and skinny, I'm gonna do it this way. And there's a little capture button right there. Use the photo. Looks like I got a little table on there. That's okay. We can fix that. I'm going to tap next. Yes, I agree. You can see what I'm doing because they don't know who I am. All right. Now, there's a blue box. And the blue box is showing that table. So I'm going to tap on that middle dot and bring it down. So all we want in the blue box is my drawing, not the table and not the extra paper. There we go. Now I'm gonna tap on next. And everything is highlighted. If something's not highlighted, you can tap on the pen and you can color the part that needs to be highlighted. Um, and then you, if you don't like that, you can undo it. If you need a fatter marker, you can do that and you can highlight whatever part's missing. But I already have everything there. So I'm gonna go back to that. And then I'm gonna come down to next. And um, it tells you when you tap on the dot what part you're talking about. You can spread like this to get closer. That helps a lot. Now, here's the funny part. It's on the right side. And that's because it's not my left. It's their left. And you just want to make sure they're in the right spot. And this is probably ear. Yep. And ear. All right. Now, I get to go to next. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and there's my character my simple stick person. I can scroll down and there's a whole bunch of different motions. You just go through them all, tap on it and see, oh, hi, how are you? There's a little dance move on this one. <laughs> and you go look at dance. And then there's funny and there's jumping and there's walking and you can pick any of those. And if you find one that you really like, you can save it. And later, I'll show you a trick in iMovie we can do with that. So I like this one. So I'm going to tap on Share and then Save Video. And now I want to do something else. So I can come down and try some other moves. And that one's kind of boring. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's cute. All right, cool. And then if I want to do something else, I can go back to Drawing and just draw another picture. Now, in this one for my robot that I drew, the arm, you can see, for whatever reason, I don't know why, didn't get picked up. So what I'm going to do is go to the fattest marker there, and I'm going to highlight where I want that arm to be. And it's not great, but it's better than it was. Cool. Now, if I tap Next, I have kind of another problem. The arm is too close to the body. I don't know if that's going to look very good. I should have, this arm's great. That arm needs to be further away from the body. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, yeah, that's not so good. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means your drawing has to have two legs and two arms that are easy to see. I tried doing an octopus. It didn't work. It has to be, it's designed for two arms, two legs and a head. So for a better robot, I'm going to do the same because I like the way I did it with the face and the body. And what am I going to change this arm? I'm going to make sure this arm is further away. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, it's all right. Let's see how that works. This time it messed up on the leg. So I'm just going to tap on the eraser there and I'm going to go to the skinniest eraser. And I'm just going to get rid of that part at the bottom. And I might go a little bit thicker eraser. Be careful not to erase the other part that I want to keep. There we go. And then let's see if this one works better. Yeah, it sees the arm is further over. 
That's the right elbow, and this is the right shoulder. And we can zoom in if you need to. Now, there we go. There we go, so. Next. Oh, much better. Robot karate, ya -cha! <laughs> Um, and I can do some more cool tricks with this. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to tap on share and then save video. It'd be nice if you could do share and go straight to iMovie. I tried that and it didn't work, but that's okay. There's another way yet. Yeah, it says cannot be used. Yes, it can. And in iMovie, I'm going to come over to create movie. Now I'm going to go to the plus sign up here. I'm going to say video. And the one that we just added is recent. It's the top one I just did. I'm going to tap on that, tap the plus sign. And there it is. And now I can come down to filters. I can change the colors. I can add audio, like sound effects. Or I go to soundtrack and... That's, that's an interesting one. Now, I want this out of the way, so I'm just going to X that out. <laughs> Delete that, and I can go to voiceover. Now, it's going to be noisy in the room with a bunch of kids, uh, but if you practice it here, you can try it at home. It'll be better. <clears throat> I am Karate Robot. Yeah! I am Karate Robot. hi -ya! I am Karate Robot. Yeah. I am Karate Robot. Hiya. There's all kinds of options. You can change the speed. You change the speed. You change the speed. You can do words to it. You change the filters. When you're done, tap the word done. Tap on title and then you give it your name. <laughs> 